I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very strange one for you tonight. I'm not really sure what is going on behind this one. You know, recently our newspaper headlines and news stories have been filled with um, tales about how hardened criminals are being uh, released within hours of their committing rather heinous crimes, and they're back on the street again, and they're uh, committing further crimes. And uh, while people talk about prison reform and bail bond reform and defunding the police, it seems to be a oh maybe a connection of all three that are leading to this phenomena. But in tonight's movie, there is another possibility that is presented and gotta tell you i think this one is even more frightening cinematic glass is about to begin and your professor is in greetings salutations and other sundry affair i am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in Movies and tonight's lesson plan is a movie called Madness Inside Me. Basically, what happens here is we have a criminal a profiler, a, a, a criminal a psychiatrist who, um, who probably is more demented, <laughs> okay, than the, the criminals that she tries to to help and assist. And uh, in a very strange twist, uh, she ends up almost going to the other side in this movie. It, it, is a, it is a very strange movie. It is the product of Matthew Berkowitz. He is the writer, the director, and the editor as well. You know, strangely enough, it is shot in 4-3 ratio. You don't see an awful lot of movies that way anymore. Uh, generally, they'll shoot that if they're thinking that maybe this is going to go just to uh, standardized TV and or some streaming service and, and nowhere else. And uh, I don't know, maybe Matthew was thinking that. Uh, you know, this movie started out and it has an interracial couple. Now, I've been telling you for months longer that anytime you have a thriller or a horror movie and there's an interracial couple, they're doomed. <laughs> It's just nothing ever good happens to these folks. This one is reversed. This is a white guy and a black girl. Usually it's the other way around. So as soon as they came on in the opening scene, I went, oh, my God, that's it. They're dead. Well, close. <laughs> he is anyway. And, you know, you begin to think that uh, Madison, who is who is the wife, played by uh, Marin Dungey, you, you begin to think that there might be something wrong with her because when she goes back to the crime scene where her husband was killed, she finds dried blood on the on the wall, and the first thing she does is finger it and eat it. And you think, well, this isn't go <laughs> this is not going down a road that it needs to go down. Starting along uh, with Marin is uh, Devon Gray, who plays Francis. Uh, Cynthia is played by Jennifer Gelfer, and Detective Thompson. A very short role. But it's Tom Q. Jones, and he has somewhat of a name. I guess he's the biggest name star in the movie. Uh, he's in maybe a total of, I don't know, seven minutes tops. Uh, but they give him a nice top billing because uh, he has the, the recognizable name, uh, if you will. Okay, our director of photography for this was Mattia Palomari. And uh, uh, Yeoman's Duty, it shot, it shot well. There are a lot of nice angle shots, and, and certainly it's very it's very visual. The problem with this movie is that uh, wow, uh, if you have a psychological profiler, criminal, who has a penchant for letting all of the criminals go, uh, and not seeing that any type of real justice is done, then this movie offers a, a, a 
demented, but certainly a, a viable explanation uh, to why these things happen. I mean, there are some really bizarre uh, things going on in here. Madison hooking up with, uh, you know, the, the, the man who killed her husband, and uh, you think she's there to help him, but it, it, this really takes a bizarre twist. It, it's an odd film. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't know that it needed to be quite this odd because it's a little uh, unserving. Uh, very, very bizarre script. I, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, I think this might be uh, your cup of tea here. This will certainly be uh, viable. I, I'm not quite sure the ending was as smooth as it could have been. There's kind of a big jump there, and you have to you know, fill in the holes a little bit more than uh, probably is necessary in a good script. Uh, but if you're looking for something that's kind of off the beaten path and something that is, uh, oh, I'd say on the edge of being between, you know, uh, weird and disturbed, uh, then this story uh, will probably do it for you. It's called The Madness Inside Me. And now that you have learned what you have learned, here into your lesson.